Hey everybody, welcome to another Master Pairings with me, Dr. Bill, and I have a special guest with me today. Hi, I'm Julian Schrager. Today, I wanted to go German. So, we're going to go with a very wonderful uh, Dunkelweiss, which is called by Weltenberger is the brewery. Uh, Dunkelweisses means, Dunkel means dark, Weiss means wheat beer, or Dunkelweizen as in wheat beer. And so, it's a dark wheat beer, and today I'm going to pair it with a few great German sausages. I have a Nuremberger Wurst. I have a um, very nice Bach Wurst, and I have a Bratwurst. And I've also paired it with a great uh, smoked Gouda. So we should see how that goes. So without any further ado, let's pour a couple beers. I've never tried this method before, though, Bill. This is the inverted Bill method. That is how the pros do it. And, Lovely. oh, perfect, look at that. Oh, no. That takes talent. Cheers. It's my first time, Bill, but I'm glad to do it with you. Mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. Mm. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Really heavy and forward on the Munich malt. Yep. Nice. The malts stand out great. It's still got it's still got all those wheat characteristics like you expect mm -hmm. in a Hefeweizen, mm -hmm. but with a little more depth and character to the flavor profile. It does. The yep. uh, Munich malt definitely gives it that deeper kind of uh, toasted bread crust, kind of halfway yeah. Bach flavor. Yeah, it's really close to uh, one of my other favorite styles is a Weizen Bach. And so the Dunkelweiss is just going that direction, so it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we should just jump in and try the smoked Gouda and see how it goes with it. Let's do it. Oh, that smells fantastic. I think the, uh, the, the smoke phenols and the cheese go really well with the, uh, the dark Munich malt flavors in the beer. Oh, they're very complimentary. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love the way they uh, go together. Um, as Goudas are great, and smoked goudas are great with all lagers, but especially with German lagers. And when you start to get the Munich malts involved, it's, mm -hmm. just, it's a pairing made in heaven, so they go really well. One thing I like about the style, the uh, Dunkelweiss style, is it does have a little bit richer flavor than a standard Hefeweizen, but it's not heavy at all. No. So, you know, I mean, if you want to pair it with uh, dark meat sausages, light meat sausages, it's, it's, it's a good beer. No, it, anything pork, first of all, mm -hmm. this beer is, is a home run, first mm -hmm. and foremost. Uh, but all kinds of great sausages with any complexity at all involved into them are great. Uh, it goes well even if you're putting condiments on them. Uh, smoked Gouda, uh, aged cheeses are all fabulous. and it's just, it's just a great, refreshing beer, like you said, but with a little more depth and complexity. Mm -hmm. So um, I enjoy it on just a hot a day as I would a Hefeweizen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just got a little more characteristics. So let's try the sausages. The, let's do it. Which one is our first? Uh, I'm going to try this one, which is the Bratwurst. Okay. Now, I always... My memory must be off, but I always thought bratwurst was kind of a lighter sausage. Could you tell us what's this? This is smoked bratwurst. Uh -huh. So it's a okay. smoked German bratwurst. So it's picked up a lot more depth of character and color. Mm -hmm. So it works really well. Mm. Just using a classic stone ground mustard mm -hmm. just to play off of it. And bratwurst is traditionally a pork sausage, is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All of these are based off of pork. Mm. Does anybody make a bacon sausage? I think that would oh, be fantastic. I'm sure they do. I think we should At the very a least, it wraps, yeah, some sausages wrapped in bacon. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah. No, it's definitely delicious. And then the little bit thinner and darker one are the Nuremberg Wurst. And the Nuremberg Wurst are from Nuremberg, and they're classic during the holiday seasons. A little more subtle. Mm. That lets the beer play into it more. Mm -hmm. Brings out more of the characteristics mm -hmm. of the beer. I get some spices in there. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but is this pretty traditional if I were to Yeah, go? no, it's pretty traditional. They come in a couple different sizes. Uh, a lot of times when you're out at the little markets, they'll have them in a, almost, almost look like uh, American breakfast sausages, mm -hmm. and they'll have a half dozen of them in there. But some, they also come in the larger links like this. Okay. But the spice characteristic is really spot on. The dog wants them. Hi, Sam. Would you like How to try a doing, sausage? Sam? Sammy likes it. What do you think? That was good. All right. He says yes. So, Bill, we're having a knockwurst right now? Yes. Okay. Would you 
care to comment on what the meats are in, in this? It's got a very light kind of fluffy texture. So they're pork based, but historically they have veal in them. And that's what I'm thinking is in here because this is a very traditional uh, knockwurst. Now, um, nowadays they also have a knockwurst that have the pork with chicken, turkey, okay. and believe it or not, fish in northern Germany. Ah, okay. I but kinda, mm -hmm. I'm not getting any fish out of this, so okay. I'm going to go with veal on this one. Okay. But I think it's pretty great. It's delicious. For myself, Julian, and Sammy, another successful master pairings. Cheers. Cheers. Man. Boom.